playing for Leipzig Esports. And the bottom half, it is our Red Protoss under Nexus. His opponent, on the other hand, as the yellow Protoss playing for Cascade one bet, Davian, or just Dav. Alright, let's see if under Nexus stands a chance. He, he got a walkover versus um who was his opponent in the previous round? Die Star, yeah. He got a walkover for uh, against Die Star. Probably for him not showing up, I don't know. But he he got a death win. Let's see if he stands a chance versus Devian. Uh, Devian unfortunately wasn't uh, currently placed, so I have no idea uh, what level he's at, but he's playing for Cascade. So that's a pretty good team um, with some good players out there. And I wouldn't be surprised to see, see a pretty decent game out of these two. Our next is the first one to go for double gas here. No gas coming out of death just yet. That's some really early gas for under Nexus. Maybe he's gonna go for something cheesy here. Wouldn't really surprise me. I mean, uh, if you think you're the underdog, that's that's usually one of these tactics that come into play. And he scouts everything out, sees okay, I have way, way faster gas timing. And now he's gonna check, okay, how many probes is he gonna send in there? And it's gonna be two on one of them, three on the other. <laughs> and just being a nuisance here on the mineral field. Trying to stop mining, but I don't think Dev is any, having any of it. Well, Dev is also getting in there and scouting out what Arnex is doing, but... He's okay, two workers in gas. It's not all that much different, but of course Arnex did get his gas way earlier. So there's still the possibility of him going for, for something cheesy. But as long as this probe is still in here, um, he's not going to reveal any tech. But does reveal a uh, Chrono Booster on the gateway. It's interesting. Pretty eager to get this Stalker out. I'm not too sure why he's doing this. Usually want to spend all of your... Um, all of your Chrono Boosts on the Nexus uh, early on. Unless you're going for some crazy aggression. In which case, uh, that's that makes a lot of sense. But Ooh, nice. Nice move by Dev. Hiding the probe back here. So he can just dart back in there and see what Under Nexus is doing. And I think he's gonna do that pretty soon. Because he wants to check, okay, if there's a Chrono Boost on the Gateway and he's also Chrono Boosting the Cyber Core, this might be uh, some Gateway Aggression. But f so far, only a single Gateway being added. And Under Nexus is gonna go straight on over. But still staying on these two gateways, and Dev also going for a little bit of a cheesy tactic. Getting Twilight Council and the Dark Shrine hidden back here. So he has a precious little timing to make something happen, but I think Other Nexus is going to get there and there, get in there pretty soon. Warp Gate is almost done, but he's also going for the Stargate, um, which could be good. Um, could help him defend against DTs. But of course it's going to weaken his attack as well, so he might not just kill death off with this attack. It's currently two stalkers versus two stalkers, not going to do all that much. And he's just waiting for that next pylon to finish, but the warp gate is also done for death now. And both of these star warp gates, uh, gateways are also done. So I think he has enough to defend this. And with the Dark Shrine almost done, and a few a few gas on his bank, he's in a pretty good spot to just throw down DT and have a perfect defense here against Omni Nexus. As long as that Oracle is not quite there. But, no, oh, did Omni Nexus scout those? Yes, he did. So good for him. And a Zealot will clear this off. Of course, the Oracle is almost done, so it might need to steer back if he sees the DT warping in, but nope, that's not gonna happen. Dev, just playing it safe. Might use the DT for um, defensive purposes, but nothing uh, nothing being warped in just yet. 
both of these players are really passive, but there are a lot of stalkers moving in. They're just gonna bait out, uh, bait out the overcharge. And oh, there is DT being warped in. Under Nexus has vision now, but he doesn't have any units to clear this off, and lost almost all of his workers. Oh, jeez, this is not good. And he decided to turn around and then turn back around. So I think this is pretty much it for our red Protoss. The CTs are gonna clear things up and at home Davian is in a pretty safe spot. He has a lot of stalkers now as well. Actually has a stalker advantage. Uh, plus he could warp in DTs to defend. And these CTs are still wailing away. I think once Under Nexus goes in there and realizes okay this stalker army is way stronger than mine. Uh, this is going to be GG and this is going to be the final fight here for our Protoss for Leipzig Esports. There's GG well played and Davian takes it and moves on to the next round.